Hey everyone, Akash here and I welcome you all to my YouTube dev channel. So guys, this channel is all about web development skills and technologies. Okay, and if you have, uh, and guys, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then do hit that subscribe button and notification bell icon to receive the latest notifications. And guys, I have also made 10 days of JavaScript playlist uh, for you. So if you have not watched yet, so you can watch it on my channel so this video is going to be about view uh, to do app in Vue.js. okay so let's talk about it so the features that you can uh, so the list of uh, things that you can do using to do app will be like you can create your own to do okay you can create your own to do like let's see you can edit it too you can add basically multiple to do's okay yeah and the after and you know the to do that you are adding will be reflected over to the top like the pending items and completed tasks okay and you can mark your to do as done after once they are completed you can also delete your to do's and a pop up will be shown uh, just to confirm whether you want to delete your to do or not so and one more the last thing is that your to do's will be saved in your local storage so yes we are also using local storage here so that the changes we will be making uh, will be saved okay so uh, basically this is the thing you can edit your to do add your to do delete them edit them mark them as complete and save them to local storage okay so guys this video will be all about uh, setup okay how to set up your uh, Vue.js project okay so what are the list of commands that you have to run and how to basically start with the Vue.js project okay so let's get started so guys what you have to do first first you have to make a you know like folder uh, any folder that you want to make in which you want to make your project so let us suppose to do app okay once you have made your project uh, just you have to enter into that directory like you know the command with the help of command like cd to do app okay cd to do app then what you can do uh, then you can run the following command for view cli that is npm install minus minus global and view cli Okay, it will install the Vue CLI on your laptop or computer. Uh, once you install Vue CLI, the next step is to install Webpack template. Okay. And, <clears throat> and the command for Webpack template is view init webpack and the name of your project. Okay. Once you run this command, uh, several questions will be asked and you just have to answer them one by one. Like project name, um, I will go with the same. Okay, author, your name you can give here. No, I won't be installing view route router because we are not using it okay so just do the settings as per your need okay what do you want and what do you don't uh, what you don't want okay um, <clears throat> yeah use npm okay so it will be installing project dependencies now Okay, cool our dependencies have been installed the next step that we have to do is we have to get into our app okay the project 
and then we have to run npm run dev okay let's see okay now let's open our editor code editor that is vs code so guys this is the you know whole set of uh, whole set of directory structure like source folder and this is main js file it is the basically you know entry point for your app main.js okay so there is a view instance that you can see okay let us first run the app let us run the command npm run dev Okay, the port that we that it is using is 8080 okay so yeah cool okay so our view project is now running <laughs> okay now this is the view instance and in this the component that you want to render basically uh, you write it like app is the component okay this is the component that we are rendering initially okay and it is the id where this entire component is going to render okay it is present in basically index.html yeah cool uh, those who have those who are familiar with react.js i hope they will get it m uh, more faster because it's quite a you know like combination of react and angular We are getting this warning actually uh, ESLint errors. Okay, so it's because I am also using Prettier extension, so it's quite a conflict between single quote and double quote. So I I will have to use this you know comment to disable this warning. So just copy and paste it. okay so you have to copy it in uh, uh, below the script tag okay where you are writing your js code and let's see the magic okay cool okay our warning still didn't okay so here we also need to have it and guys the extension that view uses is simple view app dot view hello world dot view any file that you are going to make uh, it will be with the you know extension of view okay now cool our warnings and errors have gone so like in react we used to have fragments so similarly in view we have template and within those template uh, our html we write and we have to give it a you know like root tag to give it a root tag like you know root we need to provide it a root element okay like in react so div and then under that there is a image img tag and the component that you want to render hello world okay so basically you can import your component simply by like like writing import the name of the component and from where you want to import your component okay so guys we will be using bootstrap in our project so let's set up the bootstrap okay simply copy the command from the bootstrap view bootstrap website okay npm install view bootstrap hyphen view i mean to say minus view bootstrap okay so once your command has run properly then what you have to do is 
just copy this set of lines and paste it in your uh, main.js Okay, now what you have to do is, now we have to copy the CSS file. Yeah, these two CSS file. Okay, copy and paste them in your main.js. Cool. Now our um, bootstrap is also installed. Okay, so I hope everything is cleared clear this far Uh, okay friends let us create the directory structure okay for let us create the file okay that we are going to code so one will be create to do okay so create uh, so you also create this file create to do dot view next will be to do dot view and another will be our to do app and to do list okay to do app dot view and to do list dot view okay so friends i just wanted to tell you that vue.js is a very fun language to work with you know it has like the combination of it has the advantages of react as well as it has the adv advantages of uh, angular okay it's a mixture of you can say both of them okay and that's why you know it's quite faster and the build that it makes it's also smaller in size okay so you can read all those stuff from the official website of vue.js i will just drop a link in the description box okay so it is not that much stuff uh, you can easily grasp its concepts okay so just i i just wanted to say that you know watch all the videos of this playlist and and i assure you that you will learn how to make a to do app you you will learn how to make a to-do app in Vue.js and you will also grab the concepts of Vue.js I mean to say the basics of Vue.js okay and and this is it for this video guys and I will catch you up in the next video so stay tuned thank you